with them hoochie shorts. So I'll come on over and I'ma make it twerk. Right cheek, left cheek with it. I'ma drop it down low, hit a split like this. Don't stop, don't stop. Keep shaking like this, make the thing Fuck it with me and I'ma bop it, shake it, twist it, pull it, fuck it, touch it, rub it. Yeah, huh? Just be careful for a nigga fall in love with it. Ain't nothing basic. I'ma drop it down low, real low, and shake it. Go on, girl, it's your birthday. And them hoochie daddies looking thirsty. Boy, what you saying? Hey, my teammates, welcome back to the channel. I have my baby boy, yeah. And Cam. <laughs> he trying to get the thing. Okay, guys, so today is MLK Day, Martin Luther King Day. And it is two museums here in Jackson that we are going to explore today since they're open and it's MLK Day. So, which museum are we going to first, y'all? Which one we walk by first? So it's the Civil Rights Museum and it's the History Museum. So what's my side in my first place? I did hit the button. You saw me hit the button. It just moves slow. So they got these clipboards. You just walk in. You can do a scavenger hunt. So we're gonna do the scavenger hunt. You got a pencil. So it's just like elementary. <laughs> you ready, Kim? What's one doing first? Uh we can do the Civil Rights Museum. Excellent. Well come on in. And I'll just give you a little overview. Okay. Um, so the Mississippi Civil Rights Museum, we are the first and at this point only state supported um, civil rights museum in the United States. In other words, yes, there are museums, great ones, civil rights museums in Memphis, Birmingham, Montgomery, but here it was the state of Mississippi that committed to build and fund and manage this museum. Okay, teammates, so we have got a lot of information right then. So we can start right here at the, the 1619. Negroes for sale? Yep. Uh -huh. I'm surprised you don't love that. You love that. <laughs> it gets worse. I'm it's wrong. most definitely going to get worse. Y'all look at this. It's funny, but that. This is 1619. African slaves are shipped to Jamestown, Virginia, and sold as workers. Dang. The child inherits status of the enslaved mother. Yeah, that's a lot of art. A lot of art. A lot of Oh, this man led a slave rebellion resulting in establishment of Haiti. So he really the of Haiti. somebody's home can't be a slave without being home so we are currently in the first one folks on the road natural slave market this is the Mississippi slave property 39 lashes on his or her back 39 in 1823 Mississippi passed down its own code governing slaves free Negroes and the mulattoes Oh, that's why she changed her name. <sighs> okay, the code restricted slaves among movements and activities while protecting master's property rights. No slave can in master's form without permission. Usually a paper pass or metal tag. No slave could buy or sell goods, hire out or possess his firearm or ammunition without permission. Assemblies of five or more slaves were prohibited. Slaves were not to be taught to read or write and to hold to those who harbor runaway slaves. Slave punishments include lashes on their bare back, burnt hands, and aiming to death. You hit your head? Yeah. You gonna blind for me? Yeah. What are human rights? They in the cotton field. Ew. This is Christmas week. This is the sale of a slave. The parting. So of course this is breaking down the family. This is the lash. This is blow for blow. So you see the white man is down. This is them hiding in the swamp. And this is them going free. Look at this nigga lady with this white child. 
This is a portrait of a slave nurse with child, black female house servants, or mammies, were a common fixture in the South that would persist well beyond slavery. So yeah, guys. And my granddaddy had land, and we were always taught that we were this. You want to think you're so smart, now, don't you? A little, I guess a little bit. Hey. <laughs> Come here, <Aries. laughs> So what the white people get lynched for? Let's see. Accused of bank robbery. They only got lynched for doing I stuff that... Bank robbery. No, on the other list it was all Okay, murdering. go back to the other one. That was That's what I'm saying. Get on out of here if you know what's good for you. Damn. Okay. You know how many people got lynched for assaulting a white man? Oh, these people right here. Attempted rape, attempted rape, unknown, arson, murder, 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 murder. murder. The whole first list was murder and rape. Murder and rape and robbery. And now it's, it changed. Like, this is, I ain't seen none of the stuff I saw. This one. We don't serve your kind. Mm -hmm. They don't serve your kind. That's yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't want nobody looking at me. What you looking at? Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, so these are a plethora of white people that got hanged. Cattle theft, cattle theft, cattle theft, unknown, unknown murder. So basically, if the white person was to get hung back in the day, it had to be for, I guess some of you go to jail for these days. I honestly can say this was an experience, y'all, and we're not even like halfway through it. But can I just make a comment on the last party museum we just left? Like, I don't think I could have handled that. I don't think I could have handled the way people, my people were treated back in the day. I just couldn't handle it. But these are, this museum is pretty lit and we're not even halfway through with it, so keep rocking. You know, that's something that I really don't, I don't have to read to, to figure that out. I'm gonna get you an answer in just uh -huh. a minute. Okay, yeah, heard, we'll find out. We'll be floating around here. Because I've heard different things about that. Okay. I guess my biggest question is, I'm just trying to see, like, before slavery, what were we? Um, before slavery, it, it's, uh, you know, people were here as basically, when you read the historical standpoint, it was more or less Indians uh, that was here. And they were moving and, you know, doing basically as far as we're trying to make a living and whatever. And then when the other people started coming over, and wanted to take over, uh, as usual, as the somewhat. It's basically if what's going on now is that you find that the people don't look like us, they still want to take over. Yes, ma'am. So, you know, with them coming over and saying, you know, go take over, they looked at whatever means that they possibly could in order to uh, take control. Yes, ma'am. And then, as far as with the work they needed to, they wanted to look at being done, and that's when they look at start bringing uh, the African people, you know, in order African. to do yes, you know, to do the work. Yes, ma'am. So then when they started moving them from Africa, the majority of them were going to South America. That's why I just read the majority of them were going to South America. So what was the point of sending them to South America? Uh, now that I have to look that one up as far as with the 
it's a ride. It's what's going to South America as opposed to coming to North America. Yes, ma'am. African American soldiers returned home from the war, sensing the possibilities and committed to achieving the life. Well, why do you often describe World War II as the good war? What did black people get out of this war? Well, I'm going to tell you one thing that I believe that they got out of it they got more freedom of speech. You see? And then the civil rights movement come right along, you know, after that, see, and that had a good bearing. And see, you couldn't hardly, you know, mm. deny this, just come out of, you know, a war with the, your black going in and fight for your country. And you're going to come in and tell me that we're going to be general segregated and you just ask them to go and fight with you side by side. We don't know them. Lord was lost, I was lost in life, and we lost, oh, so what are we going to do when we get back home? When this uh, civil rights comes up, that's when we, we thought, that's, that's the war we were going to fight right here. We just ain't going to take what we have went through. I think many people, especially bikers, uh, got the idea that we're going to fight, but we're not going back to business as usual. Somehow we're going to change this nation so that uh, there's more equality than they are now. After the soldiers now return to this country and so forth, they felt that there should be a job for them. And if there were not, I believe that the people began mm. to see the need for opening some of the doors and so forth. After having been in the service for five years, two years in a combat zone, you wasn't possible. You wasn't probably what it was desirable. So I was already motivated. But I, when I came, I found out there was nothing being done politically. We didn't have any black registered voters. Because at that time, they had the, you had to pay a poll tax. Two dollars a year. They call it poll tax. That was supposed to be something that supported the public school, but it was just something to block and discourage. You know, I knew blacks when I came. I knew blacks that had been paying poll tax for twenty and thirty years, but I couldn't get any of them to go down and, and attempt to register. Because of the atmosphere of that time, there was a fear, you know. Those were the voices of Lamar Lenore, Clement F. Jones, Dr. Douglas Conner, John C. Berry, and Dr. E.J. Schringer. It was burning. People's land to purify the land. So this was their way of following that of purifying in front of their enemy, but it was purifying Christianity for them. And she has a question about coming to South America as opposed to first. Sugar. It was all about sugar. They wanted to. Sugar. Europeans had discovered uh, sugar. They found out about, about sugar and uh, they wanted it. They were craving it and sugar was being grown in South America, uh, down in, in Brazil, those areas. So that's where the first uh, slave were enslaved people were taken to down there in South America. But the Africans had been in South America thousands and thousands of years before anybody else had already been down there. But on that question of us enslavement, that's what that's what it was, the main thing. They were taken down there. And, and yeah, and, and yeah, and they had uh, followed the Africans had been still in the oceans yeah. for the longest and that's where the currents that would take them to South America. If they just followed the currents, it would the trade winds, you heard of that? The trade winds would take it to South America, and that's what they, that's what they ended up on. Uh, if you follow the islands that lead from Africa all the way over to South America, those people have melanin in their, in their skin. They, they all are dark-skinned people all the way over to the Mexicans, the Mayans, and the Aztecs are all descendants and mixture of Africans. All those heritages down there, and those islands are all people with the same DNA 
that came out of Africa. Well, we all have the same DNA that came out of Africa, but they have that melanin DNA with them. So they were they went there first. All right, then you can have more questions. We go first. <laughs> we go first. Uh, he the, is the historian. NAACP. I mean, anybody just don't know what that is. NAACP. Yes, sir. Uh, National. National Association of an Advancement of Color People. National Association for the Advancement of Color People. But it wasn't all about color people. It wasn't ran by color it people. It wasn't started by uh, just uh, black people. Uh, there were some white people that it were was involved and started. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Some Jewish people, some, some okay. black people. Just people of color. When Dubois one of the first ones too. Uh, mm -hmm. He beat the boys. Was one of the early, early creators of it, too. Y'all keep reading, love it. Yes, I did. So, like I said, I really enjoyed my moment here at the museum. And I know I would love to come back without Cam being all grumpy. But yeah, I know this one right here, though. A lot of these schools say Clay County. And I'm trying, I think Clay County was here in Mississippi. I'm not sure. But it's a lot, a lot of information here that I most definitely missed and would love to come back and come see. The ratio was crazy back then. Look how many kids took classes. Ooh, not into the jail cell. In the back yeah. of a paddy wagon. Down, 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 down. Oh. And she really getting in the back of it too. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I actually like the way people used to dress back in the day. So, the reason why Christianity is so big here in the state is because that's what they wanted. Granted, though, that Christianity would be the new, it would be the younger religion to what religion we really going after, which was the Nation of Islam. So, I was most definitely right. Oh, I said that man's name is not Jesus. Interesting. <laughs> but they had them. When the Europeans took over, that's what they wanted to do. Ain't no way everybody in jail to the point where the door is open. Loud cuts, they won't let me down. <laughs> Oof, I refuse to sit behind another city. Alright, let's go. Considering if they did, these people would do some things. Some things, things. Because somebody had to be better than somebody that wanted to be better than the next day. They came on after sugar. I'm befuddled. Behooved. Appalled. Baffled. <laughs> Disgusted. Oh, and that too. Smumbledorfed. That's not even a word, and I agree with you. <laughs> Okay, teammates, we are making our way around the Civil Rights Museum. We just heard from a speaker. Amazing. Okay. Um, if y'all ever in Jackson, y'all most definitely need to pull through and check this museum out. Like, it is so much information and so many pictures, so many art works that have so much information. Y'all really need to come see this and read for yourself. It's a lot. It's a lot of Ku Klux. It's a lot of things, but it's part of the history. It's the history that can't be erased. So, just keep trekking. Look at the FBI. Look at this thing. Dang. <laughs> can't trust the FBI. <laughs> Duh. So, basically, this said um, the FBI pretty much interviewed about the individual in their background, not so much the incident. So you can't trust the FBI. I'm not saying you can't trust the FBI, but we can't trust the FBI. The FBI job is not to give protection, only to investigate. So you can't trust the FBI. Yeah. 
They're investigators. Not That's protection. The federal rule of investigation. It is in these in these folks' name. They're investigators. I ain't gonna be quick to run them. They quick to come to you, trust okay, me. Okay, they be fine. They just like the IRS. They're gonna find you. Okay, guys. Um, we gonna we're finna go. Look at more. So. Yeah, we're finna go to wrap this up. Cam's okay, hungry and all that great stuff. But um, if I ever come back, I am gonna vlog again, get more detail. This was a good experience. I'm happy I came here. But anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all for the next video. I be working at where my man with the paper at. Hands off, you gotta pay for that. Bounce, bounce, bounce. bounce I'ma shake a little sum. Hands on my knees when I bounce, I'ma break a little sum. Too fast, head shh, 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 shaking that shit. When I bounce, I throw a little sum. Ooh, daddy, I like it like that. Hands on my hips, grip tight when I throw this ass back. I'm bouncing these cheeks on your pants and hitting y'all up in my system. Yeah, I'm a dance.